I started racing in 1989 in Napa, California. I was six years old. I can't really remember what actually happened, but I do know what I felt. It's the same feeling that I, that I still have, the love for riding my bike, the, the gratification that catching air and running with other riders and, and the speed that we carry, all of that stuff, although it was relative to then, like I, I felt like I was going 40 miles an hour back then, right? When, when we're just like cruising around the track, you know, I, I know that I had practiced uh, a bit before I, I went out for my first race. I do know that I won my first race because I do have my first place trophy from that first race. So that was kind of cool to, to experience. You know, again, it's, it was something that I took to right away. It was just the, the freedom of two wheels. It became my identity. It, it became who, who I was and, um, and, and I just grew from there. Again, people ask me, you know, how was it like your first day and this and that, and I, I don't remember. I don't remember my first day out to the track, but I do know that time of my life and going out there with, with my mom and dad and, and my dad being a track official and just going out there and, and loving the freedom of two wheels. And, and my mom still has a picture in, in their house um, in the bathroom. Every time we go to the bathroom, it's like it's up on the wall. It was me at, at six years old. And, and I was just vertical, like my front wheel was so high up in the air and my back wheel was only like an inch off the ground, but it felt like I was a mile in the air, right? It was like, dad, mom, how high did I get? You know, and, and I really, I was only an inch off the ground, but with my front wheel all the way up and, and the bike being as big as I was, like it felt like I was just jumping over a mountain. And so again, that has always been very special to me and, and, and really all the racers in the, that are involved in the sport.